Hey, welcome to the 10th and probably the last part of this series. In this video, we are going to add a contact page to the website. First and foremost, we need to install a plugin called Contact Form. Once installed and activated, we need to go to the newly added section called Contact and create a new form. As you can see, we have a variety of options that we can use in order to customize our form. So, once saved, a new short code is generated. We need to copy this code and paste it in a new page to display the form that we have just created. Now let's test it. And there we go, it works. By default, local creates an email for the website administration that you can change anytime you want. To find your default email, go to the settings section in the admin dashboard. Now to check the received emails, open local, go to utilities, then open mail hog. Let's say a visitor typed the wrong URL to access a certain part of the website. Since we still not have yet a page that is dedicated for error messages, WordPress serves the index.php file instead. So let's create a file and name it 404.php. Now if I refresh the page, an error shows up with some default content from the browser because the 404.php file doesn't yet contain any code. So let's jump back to it and add some HTML code. With that done, this series comes to its end. I tried my best to keep it as simple as possible, so you can get a grasp of the fundamentals of the creation of a WordPress theme from scratch. So, I hope you learned something new from it, and as always, make sure to subscribe and I will see you in my next video.
Oh, 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 oh,